lesson number two, our first Zalim. My favorite hobby. My favorite hobby, Afro Sali. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Afro Sali, and I am from Unity Primary School. And I am here today to talk about my favorite hobby. Just by looking at what I have here, you might already be guessing what my hobby is. It's speed cubing. You might not know what the term speed cubing means, but it means it is a sport that, re that requires solving a Rubik's Cube as fast as you can. Now, this may be a peculiar hobby to have, but there are literally competitions of it being held all around the world, even as we speak. It has been a hobby of mine for three years now, so let's talk about how I got into speed cubing. Well, one day when my father came home from work, he bought two Rubik's Cubes for us for getting good marks in our examinations, one for me and one for my sister. I didn't have much interest in trying to solve it at first, but my sister, on the other hand, she really wanted to solve the Rubik's Cube. So every day, she spent a little bit of time learning how to solve it. And eventually, with one simple YouTube video explaining how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube using the beginner's method, she was able to solve it easily. Well, let's just say I got a bit jealous. I couldn't solve it, but she could. And I wanted to beat the time she took to solve the Rubik's Cube, which was three days because I figured out that it took the creator of the Rubik's Cube, Erno Rubik, one whole month to solve his own creation. So day in and day out, I was practicing the Rubik's Cube. I even went to sleep with it. That's how much I was obsessed with trying to learn how to solve it. Well, I ended up, did learning, how, I ended up learning how to solve it, but it took me one entire week. But it was still worth it in the end, because I could show my sister that I could solve it too. My sister slowly lost interest in trying to solve the Rubik's Cube. But I, on the other hand, wanted to get faster at solving it. At first, I was solving it in about three minutes. And I wanted to get faster. So I went to many websites and checked a lot of YouTube videos for information to improve my technique. And eventually, I could solve it in under one minute. Well, I was not going to stop there. I was going to push myself even further. And so I learned more advanced techniques like how to turn the cube faster. Instead of using my whole hand, I would use my fingers. And so I reached to where I am now with a lot of practice, of course. I'm able to solve a Rubik's Cube in under 25 seconds. And if I'm lucky enough, I can solve it in under 20 seconds. Well, although this is, e this is not even close to the world record, which is three seconds, I am still extremely happy about it since it is the greatest milestone that I have achieved so far. This just goes to show that if you have the determination to achieve something, you will definitely be able to do it. And who knows, maybe one day, you might be able to solve the Rubik's Cube as well. Thank you.